Hi everyone, welcome to session two of your discussion forum. So today we are going to be running through the next two documents of your mock exam paper. But before we continue, please make sure that you have your audio on so that you will be able to hear everything that I'm saying throughout the course of this lesson. Okay, so these are the worksheets that you should have on hand today. Term 2, Practice Test 1, Document 2, which will comprise of closed passages, as well as Document 3, which will comprise of your MCQ section, SNT, as well as editing. Now, do not answer any of the questions until I tell you to do so. Okay, so let's take a look at this passage first. This is the first passage you should be looking at. The lovely but threatened lemur. Comprehension closed passage with a total of five marks. Okay, so for those of you who are not sure what a lemur looks like, this is what it looks like. Isn't it adorable? So the first thing you'll notice about the lemurs, I'm sure, is their long and bushy tail. Now, did you know that the ring-tailed lemur's tail is actually longer than its body? Okay, so let me just go through some of the words in the options given to you so that that will help you to answer some of the questions. So option A, the word differ, this may be the first time some of you are seeing this word, but you can think of it as the root word of the word different, which is what you see in option B. So both words have very similar meanings. Differ, in this case, would mean to be unlike or to be dissimilar. For option F, variety. Variety usually comes in a phrase, a variety of. A number or range of things of the same general class that are distinct in character or quality. So we can say that we can find a variety of fruits at the supermarket, including apples, oranges, grapes, pears, and mangoes. Okay, so these are the instructions for you to follow as I read through the closed passage for you. Don't forget to take down the EJ words as well. The EJ words will be boxed up in orange just like this. You can highlight them in your worksheets and take down the definitions. So let's start with the first paragraph. Learn a little about the lemur and you will find a lot to love. Today, 111 species live wild in their home of Madagascar a lush island off the eastern coast of Africa. However, lemurs are facing extinction. Learning about them is an important blank towards saving them. Now let me run through what the word lush means. It means growing luxuriantly. Please take this down as I continue to explain this word to you. So a lush island is usually one that's filled with greenery, filled with plants, with trees, and looks very beautiful as well. Don't forget to highlight the clues that I have highlighted for you in yellow on the slides. I'll give you one minute to do this. Hi, 
it to the next paragraph. One of the most fascinating things about exotic lemurs is the dramatic differences among their species. Some lemurs are as small as golf balls. For the largest species, the injury can blank as much as 9 kilograms and is about the size of a bulldog. So we'll stop here. Don't forget to highlight the clue. And as you can tell, nine kilograms would be a big clue to help you to answer the question later. Now the word exotic means that it comes from a distant foreign country. Some lemurs eat seeds, while others eat leaves, flowers, insects, or bamboo. Lemurs also vary in their ways of getting around. For blank, Sifaka lemurs leap from tree to tree, while brown lemurs tend to walk along horizontal branches. So don't forget to highlight the clues, and I hope this will help you to answer question three. I'll give you a few more seconds before I move on to the next slide. Okay, let's continue. Madagascar is the only blank where wild lemurs live. Many scientists consider the land, the island, to be mega diverse, which means it is one of Earth's most rich and unique ecosystems. Additionally, the beautiful island is home to a blind of animals, including flamingos, fruit bats, crocodiles, and chameleons. Don't forget, Madagascar is a country in East Africa. You don't have to take this down, just highlight the clues that I've highlighted in yellow for you. I'll give you a few more seconds to do that. Okay, now we move on to grammar close passage. This is what you should be looking at right now, titled The Missing Masterpiece. Now this is taken from, this passage is taken from this book called The Dragon's Guide to the Care and Feeding of Humans. Doesn't it sound interesting? Dragons caring and feeding humans. Now this is the synopsis of the book. Preston dragon, Miss Drake, has a new pet human, Precocious Wee. Now, a precocious child is someone who shows great intelligence and talent and gifts at a very young age. Oddly enough, Winnie seems to think Miss Drake is her pet, a ridiculous notion. Unknown to most of its inhabitants, inhabitants would be the people living in the place, the city by the bay is home to many mysterious and fantastic creatures hidden beneath the parks, among the clouds, and even in plain sight. And Winnie wants to draw every new creature she encounters, the good, the bad, and the ugly. But Winnie's sketchbook is not what it seems. Somehow, her sketchlings have been set loose on the city streets. It will take Winnie and Miss Drake's combined efforts to put an end to the mayhem. Mayhem would mean destruction before it's too late. So for those of you who love reading about animals and fantasy, you should get your hands on this book written by Lawrence Yep and Joanne Ryder. Okay, same instructions. Highlight the clues. This time, there won't be any EJ words, so just focus on highlighting the clues. Okay, let's look at the passage. Look, I have something to show you. Winnie sailed triumphantly into the room, balancing her sketchbook blind her palms, as if she was presenting a huge diamond. She twirled around and laid it on the table. Come see, come see, she called merrily. I spent all evening working on it, she said flopping on the couch. 
picking up the book, she spread it wide open. Well, I said, I must, I might have heard blank invisible ink before, but not invisible pencils. Make sure you have the clues highlighted. I'll give you a few more seconds to do that. Let's continue. Well, I said, oh, I've already gone through this part, so let's go through this paragraph. The sketchbook pages were blank, as blank as blank had been when Clipper sold the sketchbook to us. They're gone, she said in dismay, and began to flip blank page after page. Every single one is gone. Once again, take note of the clues. For question eight, take note of the fact that the sketchbook pages were blank. And that is a plural noun. This will help you to answer question eight. Okay, let's go on to the next worksheet. Grammar close to, this is what you should be looking at now. Instructions, highlight the clues for this. Please remember to take down the grammar notes as well. Okay, I'll start reading. The brown box sat in the center of the room. Not one person dared to move. Alex cleared her throat. Blank anyone going to open the box? I will do it if no one else wants to. So your clue for this question would be the word anyone. Make sure that you have highlighted that clue. Okay, now anyone is a singular noun. So I hope this helps you to answer question 10. Take down the word singular as well. Make sure you underline the correct answer later on. We shouldn't open the box by blank. Chad interjected. We should wait for Mr. Lee to get back. He will tell us what to do. Now your clue for question 11 would be this phrase that I've highlighted in yellow. But what you should focus on is the word we. And we is a plural noun. Take this down and bear this in mind when you answer question 11. Or he could take it away without letting us get to the bottom of the whole thing. Remember that pile of letters that blank left at the doorstep? Highlight pile of letters once again. This is your clue. Pile of letters is a collective noun. So even though there is more than one letter in the pile, we focus on the word pile. Therefore, this is considered singular. Use this to help you to answer question 12. Let me continue reading. We never discovered who sent the letters before because he took them away. Everyone gave each other concerned looks. They blank furiously when suddenly the door slammed. Now the word they is your clue, important clue, and it is plural. So use this to help you answer the questions. I'll give you a few more seconds to finish highlighting the clues and taking down all the notes before I continue. I hope you found the notes helpful. You now have 10 minutes to answer all the questions. 